Hello everyone. I'm sorry I was away for a few days. I actually laid these cards out. They've been here. Well, I put them away, but they've been here. Uh, I was extremely pissed. Like, it was just... And like, you know, it was one of those where it's just like, mm. Like, you know how you, like, you stop talking to someone because you just cannot. You, like, the evenness of can't just doesn't work for you. And it's like, just leave it alone. I'm gonna let it go. I'm just gonna keep it to myself. And then, like, nigga comes back, like, I don't know why you're mad at me. And it's just like, yeah, you're messaging me. I, like, that. that's amazing. I, I'm like, okay. Well, let me remind you. Just so they could be the ones to say that they cut you off. Totally got to me. I had to get away from this. I had to leave it alone. So I don't even remember what I saw in this. So it'll be a fresh energy. But that's why I was gone for a minute this time. So my apologies for that. But I need to unkiss and unfuck myself. Refocus. Regroup. And remember. Because, unfortunately for me, sometimes I easily forget why I was. I stop fucking with the person. No. Just me. But I figure I at least let you guys know. But other than that, everything has been good. Been extra busy. Everything's been a little bit heavy, but I think it's just because pre-shadow's coming up. What, the retrograde? Mercury retrograde's coming up. The ninth. I believe. I think so. I don't know. I should pull this one cards out, but I don't know how much time I got today. I gotta wait on, like, uh, someone to come pick me up for some shit. The pain is ways and virtue. So is what? A, a penis feeding is, like, what? The penis weasel is not devouring a penis. They turned their head from the penis. They are becoming virtuous like no more dick. No more dick. Good for you. I'm proud of you, man. Curbing your addiction. Uh, pregnant babies? Twins, pregnant with twins, pregnant with twins. Something about this emperor. He's not, either he's not happy about or he's not cool with being pregnant with the other twin at the same time. It's like, bitch, you stole my shine. You could have been pregnant at different times, not together. I, I don't know, because a lot of twins end up like that, though. Like they end up having kids that are pretty much like either twins themselves or even identical or at, even at the same time and it's weird as fuck but i feel like there's a little bit of a fence or i don't know if someone wants to be in charge of how the pregnant babies operate even though they're literally a, the same month apart someone's come up with a false mask to a hermit who's just trying to find their way through the weird ass woods with their light and their cerberus just mask, mask, on mask, on face. That's their want to wish. They want to just come up and see what someone's analyzing or noticing. Why? Like, <laughs> like that's what I want to know. Like, why are why is someone like? Why does someone have to wear a false mask? Could be dealing with a Virgo, but I don't know, it's kind of weird. Mm. Obstacles and challenges? Someone's not going to bend at the knee. They will be an absolute motherfucker. They're going to be a bastard. A King of Cups Reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Someone isn't bending. Someone isn't giving something up. Someone, I don't know. It's almost like someone's angry about control. Like, or losing control? Or I don't know. It, it, but someone definitely bucks back. Someone definitely is not, like, someone is more stubborn than the other person. And I don't know if the other person gets it. There's also this feeling of introspection on the other person's part. 
An infinite cosmic mess it is not? All the sneakery... No. It says futility. I feel like it's for whoever's trying to cast the swords, because this, this is not part of the infinite cosmic mess. Something's making sense here. But in a weird way, it's like this isn't confusion. This isn't like, oh, what is happening? Why is all this weird stuff suddenly coming up? And now all of a sudden it's like, you can't hide what's happening. It's happening for real. You will see. You cannot escape from me. Like, that's kind of what the universe is. Like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Is it like things are getting set up and like there is no escape kind of feel? What are you doing? Yes, I got your brand new bag. We have death, death, death to death because like there's an earth sign. Possibly the Virgo in this. You want up here. Now, while I'm in the middle of this, no one. Okay. Two seconds, y'all. The cat dictates. As always. You're lucky I love you, and I pulled that out more so you can lay on it. I'm rec- No! I'm recording. That's why I got you the back. It's a brown paper bag. Yes. Yeah, it's like... Sir. Okay, thank you. It's like... Whatever was supposed to come to an end, came to an end itself. Because whoever it is, this person, I'm not sure if it's the other... It might be the other person who's introspective. Um, they might be totally like, you know what? Fuck these vibes. It's one thing to defend it. It's another thing to rebuke you. It's like, I'm not sure. It's a very confusing look. It's completely different from what I was looking at, which I'm really happy I did. Because it's like... I don't want to be, like, filled with anger. If I'm going to give something out, you know, because it's like, too much. I like this one especially. Yes. It's just that trumpet. It reminds me of Monk. What's the vibe check? Someone does not want to be a co birthday corpse at the party. Happy death day to you. Fuck. Alien air form, huh? Well. I like a thousand days. A thousand days is good. So it's courageous. Let's see. They talk shit on you because they know they're not shit. What? Y'all, what? Okay. They don't want to be the birth. Someone doesn't want to be the birthday corpse. They talk shit on you because they know you're there, not shit. Are they uncomfortable? Is someone like avoiding eye contact? Like what? Hmm. <laughs> the fat barrel of pretzels. Dummy survival guide working the 9 to 5 third edition. They're salty about something. Take your time going down Old Town Road. Like, what? Like, something at work? They masked and fell off. What are you talking about? When your lover turns out to be a terror reader or a witch. What does that mean? 
Okay, so like... Is it not this corpse's birthday? What's after the thing? Mirror, mirror on the wall, how it fall. Hmm. What? What, like someone feels like they're getting replaced? Or... Huh. Interesting. Okay, so someone stopped sucking the dick, eating the dick, stopped being a penis whistle. It's out of virtue. Dot of knives. Ooh, maybe it is with a terror reader. Someone with a terror reader, maybe? Getting messages using that Ouija board, and it's just like, how did all these arms end up in my room? Hey, 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 put my rings down. You're getting info. That a bitch cometh. Okay, alright. A bitch is cometh. She's all in her emotions, too. That's great. Petty, possibly. That might be the wrong judgment call, but I'm not sure. Maybe they're not picking something up right. One more. Someone's investigating. Someone's investigating what's being told to them. Someone's looking at this like, mm, there's Virgo. Dr. Grant. That man did a lot of research. <coughs> Pregnant babies and angry ass. And I don't know what this person's problem is. I can't tell if this is a, a different individual itself or them when they're when they, I guess like I, I, I don't know. It might me stutter a little bit. Shit. Like <laughs> like I'm not sure. It's just a lot of emotions. They probably lash out verbally. But I don't think it's in a way where you can take it seriously. It's like, nah, nah. And you're just like, oh, okay. I don't know what you're yelling for, though. Like, chill. This person is... I don't think it's the same person. It could be, but they got... Hmm. Let the King of Swords come out reverse. Let him come out at all. I'm just saying. Daughter's six. What the fuck? This is a situation, right? Like. I, I, I don't know. It's like. It's almost like a preemptive energy, right? It's like. It, it almost feels like doing something. Before I think some happens, but not knowing that could be the catalyst for what gets something started. Does that does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but that's this is kind of. But someone's looking into shit too, and it's just like, hmm, what am I looking at right here? Maybe I should check this out before I leap right into it, right? Maybe I should pay attention to what's being said. A deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun, me, a name, I call myself law. Where's it far? Because it's a long, long way to run. Is there a law? I don't, I mean, there's law, but not, you think, no, like, never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know why that popped up in my head. I don't know why I even tried singing with the notes. I ain't been able to sing a high note since, like, puberty. Hmm? 
Oh, they don't want to step up to someone because, you know. I, I, I got skulls and sticks and a gun, bitch. And the Lord is on my side. What you want? I gotta move the bag on my neck. My hair is protected. I will not even give you the audacity to feel my fear. I don't know. Someone like someone's like it's almost like someone's standing like a brick wall to someone. Or I don't know. But this person's all in their sour ass puss energies. Meanwhile, they're just kind of you know. Mm. It's like they want to do something, but they ain't. And it's because this person's got nine sticks on their side protected. But this is weird. It's like, it still feels preemptive, you know? If someone didn't pay for what they needed to. They didn't pay for whatever this person was offering, or they didn't take it. Might have had a secret coin in it. I don't know. And they said, I'm finished with this. I don't want to eat no more. Oh. Triple two on the clock. Okay, so this person wants to come with a false face. Interrupt someone during their hermit mode, trying to get out the woods and shit, right? Uh, ooh, are they trying to make them eat the forbidden fruit, or are they going to eat the forbidden fruit, or is that what they did? Maybe that's trying. Like, what is? What do you? Preemptive strike for realsies. This is like um. Some mean girl shit. Like, I want to see if I can... Da -da 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 -da, just to go back and, like, gossip about a person with whatever it is that's... Whatever it is you say could possibly be used about you. Because I guess this person's mad it's not their birthday or some shit. And it's like... It's like preemptive... The title is Preemptive Strike for the Sake of Their Birthday. That's the title of this video. Anything you would give would be inauthentic in their eyes. And you won't get away with <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the... Really? That... I... Just, I, I am, I mean, I'm impressed. That's a hell of an imagination right there. But it's like, you're not going to get away with what you've done. Like, you're a villain? Well, congrats to you, man. It's always nice when you walk them steps, you know. All that negativity people push on you, you can always make it a little bit lighter for you. Now, the problem is that someone isn't bending at the knees and they're getting emotional as fuck possible about it. They might even argue. They might have a full mental breakdown in front of you, right? And they're gonna lie. They're gonna lie their ass off. They're not gonna give you the truth. You didn't eat a piece of your pie. Like, why would they give you anything? Someone cannot hold back. Because of the family? What? What, like yelling at people just runs in the family? Is that what, I, is that what someone's telling me? Wait, is that, what, like someone's saying that's what niggas do? Like, okay, whatever. Who is this over here then? It was like one too. I'm sorry, but like um <laughs> rude ass. Putting that back. That's offensive. <laughs> I 
Somebody gave somebody something in the past. And now someone's taking the rose colored glasses off. Like someone's a whole emotional mess, but they will not yield. Like, it's like... <clears throat> it's it, It's almost like withholding the truth. To force someone to go ahead and think. On purpose. Or just be basically torturing them. You know, I don't know. It, it, it's... Weird. It's like a preemptive strike. It's like you're not going nowhere. But it's like the problem is, is like someone's gonna, I think, double down and force someone to look at the situation for what it actually is. Fears are rejections an infinite cosmic mess. Not being an infinite cosmic mess. This isn't by chance. And I don't think anybody can manipulate that. They are totally blind to what's gonna happen next, or they just didn't see it coming, honestly. And that, and it might have been separation. Someone might break up here. <clears throat> like, how can this be? It doesn't have to be a relationship itself. If someone wants to walk away, but they might want to come back too. But I'm not sure. Or they thought someone was gonna come back. Um, but once again, sneaky shit did not help. They didn't get away with a lot. Like, what was somebody doing? Because that's the Seven of Swords reversed again. Worry, what was going on here? Hmm. Hmm. So someone can't make up their mind? What? Hold on a minute. Somebody is blinded to insight both ways, spiritually and literally, about a breakup. You think if someone leaves, they'll want to come back, and then they're actually going to come back and not make a name for themselves? But the boat leads directly to them getting mocked about somebody. Oh, you came back, you ate the poison, now I know you ain't going nowhere. It's like, if you separate, it's probably like you gotta separate for good or whatever. Cause it's like, this person isn't, um... I don't know. It's rather odd, you know? It's like a preemptive strike. It's like they're doing something kind of in the background, but right in your face. You might be picking up on the subtle hints, but it's like, it can be making you uncomfortable. You might even want to talk about it, but I feel like if you do talk about it, It won't go well, so just leave, just leave it, uh, just like I was telling you in the beginning, just leave it the fuck alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because what's more important, the relationship or the confrontation? Which do you value more? Being right or being in someone's life? What I'm saying, like, people can find you toxic too. Never forget that. <laughs> you never share a person's point of view. Except maybe if you're twins, but even then, I don't know about that. So, death, death. Something gets ended because someone's like, nah. Get out of here with that shit. They don't know enough of what they're talking about. Like, the fuck?
The mockery. I don't get this at all. And mind you, this is sitting in present energy when it sits facing forward like it does. Instead of like to the side over here like this one or to the other side. Like whoever would be on the other side, you know, it's facing present. So it could be both energies. And it's like, do you, do, do either of you all really like each other? Because it seems like you both... are kind of like not really all that nice to each other to be quite frank a lot of back and forth possibly a lot of arguing if not a lot of miscommunication in some sense or you just like someone's moody someone is moody and uh -huh. Like, I mean, just telling them to shut the fuck up. I, I, like, I don't know why, but I, it's whatever. It's just like, they don't know enough of something. But maybe that's the situation, too. It's just like, they don't understand what they don't understand just yet. They still need to study some more. They haven't collected enough Pokemon. This person ain't helping. They ain't watering the garden. They'd be like, well, you can do it all by yourself. I'm gonna go off and be Victor. People be gossiping about that. Hmm. But they were prepping a person up the entire time. Now see, what's going on here? Because this is a very strange relationship. It's like... This one's been gassing this, the other one up, but in the end, it's like... They are preemptively... Causing an issue. They might not know that someone wasn't having their back, too. Just to save themselves. Hi, Dad! What time is it? Are they here? Not yet. This is such a weird reading. The dog. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, thank you. Ooh, bingo. <sighs> Cherry cheesecake. Ooh, that looks good. Only $20 to play. I wish, man. That was funny. Ugh. That'd be funny. Stork. House. Coffin. Bear. There's a fucking snake. Mm. Watch your feet. I would definitely say be careful with your travels, especially if you're trying to go home. I also suspect there might be an end to the rumors too. If you're moving, that helps. I don't know how far you gotta move, but like, whatever dude. Whatever. There's definitely successful speculation, but I don't see it as being a bad or a good thing. I don't know what kind of relationship this is. I don't even know if this is- like, if this is romantic, this is weird, okay? This is weird. It's like... Almost like two people are in competition with each other. But one wants to make sure... 
they're the winner. You know, that's why I keep saying Brand to Strike, because that's how it feels to me. Like, what are you trying to do? Why are you trying to do it? Will it be successful? Does it help either of you? <coughs> I think as long as someone doesn't accept a person's invitation into something, they're okay. But to engage could set someone up into something bad. But it would definitely cause the person who caused the engagement in the first place to realize what's actually happening and how resistance is futile, you know? Anyway, that's the read. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope I said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I said that right. Anyway, um, y'all be safe. Stay suspicious. I love your face. Bye-bye.